Hey everybody, welcome back to We Are Podcast. This is We Are Air, Season 5, Episode 22. We Are Air Live, 4th Year Anniversary. If this is your first time checking out the Podcast Network, please head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, or iTunes, and give We Are Podcast Network a like. And if you get a chance, head over to our social media. All links can be found in the description. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash we are podcast. And with that said, on to the podcast. We are rare. Mosquitoes. Moscatoes. Moscato. Teasing mosquitoes in the lab before they're provided with blood mail? Oh, uh, sure. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Hold on, let me share it. Oh, that is disgusting. Rancid. Is this it? Look at them. Yeah, that's, things that's the one. Oh, that's so wrong. There are little proboscises coming through. Yeah, dude. That's they nightmare. They can sense it. Yeah, they can fucking sense it. Those are big ass mosquitoes, too. Look, they're like Man. the size of his finger now. It's fucking insanity. I killed one on my fucking head back at the old apartment in Arlington, and this thing was the size of a fucking quarter. I think I sent you all a picture of it, but it, I mean, this mosquito was insanely fucking large. <laughs> Fuck that. I used to think the mosquito hawks were the mosquitoes, the big ones like that come in. Oh, they, they're skeeter eaters. Yeah. yeah, the skeeter eaters. That's what I thought were the mosquitoes. So I thought mosquitoes were huge. And then somebody's like, no, they're small, you fucking idiot. And I was like, Arr. yeah, <laughs> skeeter yeah. eaters are like mosquitoes are notoriously hard to kill. And like these fucking idiots that just. <laughs> i forgot to tell you guys we're live uh let's uh do the intro hey everybody welcome to the we are era podcast this is duck i am here with jake and avi and what is it and what is the we are era podcast it's a podcast we talk about movies <laughs> entertainment whatever the fuck we oh, want to talk about God. and today Ew. is uh yeah yeah he should have went oh uh, did that sweat. tongue thing yeah uh Today, the lolly. <laughs> and today is our fourth year anniversary, guys. Happy anniversary! What, Happy Annie! Cheers, it, you guys! Is it, paper? is it wood? Cheers! Is the four year anniversary wood? Is it our wood anniversary? I believe this is the zinc oh. oxide anniversary. Ah, the old zo. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We put in the time. We've got the zinc oxide now. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna do a live cast. So if you. <laughs> see us we are live right now and if not you're probably listening later or not listening at all it doesn't matter we're still yeah, we doing care. this we're doing this it's going down it's beginning with the movie news movie news god damn it i missed that all right harrison ford confirms i'm sorry what happened oh you're fine i blacked out it's okay oh oh I know what he did. He did some ketamine, is what he did. Yeah, he did. He got Crazy. deep into a fucking K hole. He got into it. He jumped into a K hole. Like a K hole for real? No, no, you did. Oh, I was talking about. I know Harrison. what Harrison Ford. Did. Oh, I thought Harrison Ford was dropping K. All like, right, oh, yeah, Harrison he was. Ford. That's what we were talking about. They didn't include that in the article. Whenever he's like, "I'm not going to fall down for you anymore." He 100 percent fell in a K. Harrison Ford confirms that he fell in a K hole. That's the whole article. <laughs> uh, Harrison Ford confirms Indiana Jones 5 will be his franchise finale. Thank God. Thank yeah, God. Yeah, seriously. Like, who even wants a fifth movie? Now, it's directed by James Mangold or Man Logan, or whatever his name is. Yes, he directed Logan and directed, uh, actually, didn't he direct uh, The Wolverine also? I yeah, think he did. He did. That one. He, did. And... He, he fucked up The Wolverine. Yeah. I should it, say. Yeah, with the Silver Samurai. Uh, but yeah, this is his last movie, and thank God, who needs an eighty-eight-year-old fucking Indiana Jones? Like he's old as shit, and like, are you really gonna buy that? He, I'm I'm thirty-seven, and I can barely walk down the street. I don't buy an eighty-eight-year-old <laughs> being able to jump over k holes and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, the only way you win me back from ropes. Like, the, shut I was gonna the say that's up. that's how you win me back by making it an episode of Pitfall for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. <laughs> yeah, badass. exactly. That would be awesome. Hobbs, what do you think of this bullshit? Uh, uh, just let it end, man. If he wants to go one final movie, let him go one final movie. You know but, what, uh, though? He fucking hates his characters. Is he yeah. really? 
Oh, he yeah. hates being Indiana Jones. Oh, he hates my. being Han Solo. He hates being Rick Deckard. Like, he fucking even has a shirt that says, I'm Han Solo, I'm Harris, um, fucking Indiana Jones, and I'm Rick Deckard. Get over it. Because he hates fanboys. Like, he hates these characters that we all love so very much. So it's like, you love money, though, don't you, bro? Yeah, That's what you love. love like, love you're money. 80 years old. Like, you're getting a fucking fat payday final send-off to do this fucking character that you despise now like i don't i don't get it i'm with you I, and i'm a fanboy so he probably hates me rap says hey yeah, jake, he K-Hob- hates all of us rap hey, says rap. hey jk hobby hey. love you guys i'm What's being up, a fanboy brother? right now nice fuck yeah he's you, our buddy. fanboy but yeah, i'm like man. harrison ford i hate fanboys so fuck off yeah, so rap. Fuck yeah we don't need our fuck fan base yeah. Yeah. get off you our you street <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Hobbs? We don't want Raph's money. We don't want to support. We don't even want you subscribing. We Raph, I, I I love yeah. you, and I want some of those things. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, you ask for my address. You can just send them directly to to me. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, get yeah, get do. off our live. Yeah. He's got get a, off my live. He's got a mashed potato sculpture of us in his house. Oh not, my god. That's Dang, the sculpture crazy. of me. Uh, uh, more movie news. Knives Out 2 Early Reaction praises Johnson's funnier and wilder sequel. I want to talk about this because I like Knives Out. I thought it was I a, did great, too. a great movie. I it did too. Okay. It okay. redeemed Ryan Johnson for me, I'll tell you that. I yeah. mean, a little bit. You can't really redeem what he fucking did to the franchise. But that movie, if he's just stoked to do his own shit, I'm all for it. Like, that was a great fucking flick, man. Great ensemble cast. And I'm really looking forward to the new uh, sequel. Yeah, it's a pretty fun movie, and I'm excited to see what they can do with that. It was nice but... to see Chris Evans not in spandex, so and he <laughs> yeah. was fine in it too. So I was like, yeah, all right. Oh, Chris you Evans. know, you missed America's ass. I did oh, miss Chris America's ass. That's America's ass. Um, I like uh, Daniel Craig as Benoit Blanc. Uh, oh, and the fucking the, the Kentucky accent. accent, like everything is fucking great, and it's a great fucking uh murder mystery story like in the fucking parlance like, of it was like clue it really had like good strong clue vibes yeah and in and, and the, and the best way possible like those vibes were just so on point yeah and they they amplified those the the good things about that movie also like they took all the shit that worked and then they turned it up to fucking 11 like i and, really uh, uh, yeah yeah i really i'm really surprised at like which like how little notoriety that movie got i put it up there with ready or not with like great movies that no one's ever heard of because they just knives out was a pretty modest hit though get you know why oh no he did was three. It really? yeah it was oh. i mean people went and saw it oh okay like it was it was it was it a did success. pretty well it yeah. did pretty well from my understanding i'll look up how much money it made but like i know whenever it first came to streaming like that was like one of the most streamed things yeah it's a fun whodunit and the thing is it gives away whodunit right out the bat and that's a fun thing to do with a movie you know what i mean you don't well especially upon a re-watching yeah it's you know what i'm saying it's definitely worth your time, and so I'm feeling like these sequels will be worth your time. It made three hundred and eleven million on a forty million dollar budget, so it's that's, not that's nice. bad. Not yeah, bad that's go, yeah, that's a little little go. sweet turnaround there, a little cheddar cheese. The only way you make it better is if Harrison Ford falls into that K hole and ends up no, on the fucking Knives I'm, Out movies. I'm through falling down a K hole <laughs> for you people. <laughs> I like how your Harrison Ford sounds like Macho Man. Yeah. And yeah. All right now. Listen here. Right. I'm falling down a K-hole for you people. Okay. <laughs> and let me tell you another thing, brother. Phoebe Waller Bridgers is the only reason why this movie is gonna work. That's what the man said. 100%. Uh, more movie news. Oh, Marvel announcements and trailers from D23 Expo 2022. Have you guys seen these? Hold on, take a tea here to what Jake said. What? Is she like a Bridges Bridges? Like she's a member of the Bridges family? No, Phoebe Waller Bridger or oh, some Bridger. shit. I don't know. She's she's going to she be taking Doctor over Who, for Indiana she? Jones. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. Oh, she her. Gets, <laughs> she gets yeah. to take over for everyone. She gets yeah. Doctor Who. She gets Indiana Jones. 
I think she's gonna be in a Star Wars. She was in a Star yeah. Wars, wasn't she? She man, she ain't never been in no Star Wars. Oh, I thought she was in a Star Wars. She right. might have been. I don't know. But, and how did that how did that Doctor Who season turn out for her whenever she took over? She's pretty good. She's been on yeah. it for like five years, man. Like yeah. they change the doctor every season, so no, yeah, dude. They got new now they got a black gay doctor. Oh, okay. Yeah, changing it up. That's what they do. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you guys this this trailer, Werewolf by Night. I didn't watch it yet. Oh shit, that is loud. For who? You? Yeah, I don't hear anything. I can hear it. God damn it. I blew my fucking headphones out. God damn it. Stop share. I turned into the hero evil monkey. Why are you doing this? All right, now do you see it? We see it, we just don't hear it, bro. Do you hear it now? Nothing. No. Damn. You can't do things right. Oh, here we go. I figured it out. Are you fucking this up, duck? <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Did you hear that? Yes. I did. Halloween. You can't escape the shock, the terror of Werewolf by Night. Tonight. I love it is this. Every hunter for themselves. Good luck. I'll be rotting for you. But one of you is a monster, masquerading as one of our own. I can't wait to find out what breed of evil you are. Dude, that looks like a uh, what's her name? Um. Kathy Bates. You wanna see this? No, uh, Melissa McCarthy. Oh uh, yeah, it might be. He's so good. The Mexican actor, I can't think of his fucking name, but he kills it and everything he's in. What'd you, what'd you say, Hobbs? I get him confused with Diego Luna sometimes. Yeah. Werewolf by night. Who is he? Uh, I can't think of his name. I, I just love it. It's like a... What like, else like, is he in? He was uh, an old, older, that uh, M. Night Shyamalan crap movie with the beach. I didn't watch it. Yes. Um, yeah, he was in the beach. Well, is it, isn't that Antonio Sabata Jr.? That's uh, old. There it is. What is his name? Gail Garcia Bernal? Yep, Gail Garcia Bernal. Yeah, he's isn't awesome. Isn't that Hael? Uh, Hael. No, if okay. it was with the J, it would be Hael. It uh, is with a G. It's a J. Mm, I, said, so <laughs> I like that his, his thing went out and he went with a J. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty cool. Uh, is it a movie or is it a television It's show? a television show. For, Boo, it's a I want to see it as a fucking movie. Yeah, it's a Marvel television show that looks like a 1950s monster movie. Like, so I don't want to tune in every week to watch this. I just want to watch it one fucking go. Yeah. That's it looks kind dope. of the issue with a lot of the Marvel stuff that comes out on TV. It's too fucking long, man. And I don't oh, want to dedicate, yeah. I don't want to dedicate my time to six hours as fucking She-Hulk. I know some people want that, and I do no. want the twerking scene. Uh, I don't understand why everyone hates the twerking scene, but I like it. So. I don't fucking care yeah. either way. <laughs> yeah. Be twerking, twerking, work and work. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, we got a trailer for Secret Invasion. Uh, Armor Wars is coming out. Loki season two, which I didn't think the first season was great, but whatever. An announcement of the director for Fantastic Four. Uh, Daredevil Born Again, I'm kind of pumped for, because I watched the Netflix Daredevil shows, and they were pretty good. I, like I think they're going to nerf the fuck out of them. Oh, they're, you're, they're just going to make him like, hit people with like like the turtles? and the, the Yeah, turtles. exactly. They couldn't use his weapons. Yeah. They're going to put some fucking like, uh, KB Toy Store Hulk hands on them. <laughs> Wait, they can God. sell more Hulk hands. Dude, those Hulk hands were awesome. <laughs> I know, oh. I had a set. They were great. Oh. Bro, those Hulk hands was a shit. It's so weird to think that that came out when the movie Hulk came out, and that movie is is that part of the MCU or no? No, I've this always is before the MCU even started. I've this always had... considered the first Hulk part of it, like it began. No, they Eric don't know. The, yeah, yeah, no, it's not. Uh, it's I mean, it's the same way that Blade isn't part of the MCU. Or but, the Punisher wasn't part of the MCU, even though Thomas Jane was there. Like with, with the multiverse happening, is it part of the MCU? Could they bring back those characters? They could, but I doubt they will. Yeah, they probably won't. Yeah. I mean, the only <laughs> pressure to bring it back is John John 
Josh Barrett, though. He was a good punisher. John yeah. Barrett. Yeah, yeah I liked him as a punisher. Badass. He was great in The Walking Dead. He was just fucking killer in yeah. that. Like, so good. All right. I liked him in Wolf of Wall Street, Fury. He's great. Yeah. He's pretty damn good. And he's got a podcast now, just like everyone else does. But yeah. four years ago, not everyone had a podcast. No, they so didn't. We started ours, and then everyone else jumped on the fucking bandwagon. That's yeah. Like, fuck bitch. you, Joe Rogan. Fucking, oh, he's still on our thunder is the problem. Enjoying this episode? Go check out Geekster, a dating and friends app for geeks that focuses on common interests as a way to make meaningful connections. Download today on the App Store or click the link in the description to find out more. Geekster, this is what happens when nerds collide. Geekster, available on iOS and Android. Uh, Let's move on now to some weird news. Weird news! What? What? Huh? Mom and daughter scream as they spot queen-shaped cloud moments after death of the queen. By the way, goodbye, the queen. You know, fuck the queen. Yeah, you did. Lizzie's in a box. <laughs> that was so fucking savage, man. <laughs> All right, so there's the cloud. Do you see how it looks like the queen? It looks, I it looks guess like, uh, it's a little bit of Lord Farquaad from Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Farquaad didn't wear a trilby. He had like a big poofy hat, though. It looks like fucking uh, Billy the Kid, kind of. Did Farquaad have a hat? No, he didn't. He did? he, yeah, he had a hat, but it was he mostly wore his little fucking uh, Prince Valiant haircut. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. Okay, I see it. Yeah, okay. All right, everyone's all right. right. Everyone's right. Everyone's right. No, uh, Javi's right. It does look like Farquaad now that I see it again. Yeah. I so, love it. I don't see how they can see. That's the queen. It's like, no, bro. You just want to eat. Yeah. Oh, I man. mean, well, the queen kind of was like Farquaad. Okay. Let's not. Yeah, what are we? Who, who are we joking here? She, yep. I can see the similarities. Yep. She was a right bastard, is what she was. Not she a lot of man, whatever, dude. She fucking yeah, she like served in World, World War II. She's a goddamn I, war hero. Leave her oh, alone. I thought she was. The, <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> I thought she was the queen during the American Revolution. Like she was queen forever. All right, she was. But I mean, she also did her part in World War Two. Yeah, 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 she was a, a medic. <laughs> she was. All right, next story. Oh. Weird news. Uh, my internet's not working. Okay, Michelle Nichols goes to outer space. They sent. Nichelle Nichols fucking ashes to outer space so she could be amongst the stars. Yeah. You know who Nichelle Nichols? She was on uh, Star Trek. Oh, uh, yeah, Lieutenant O'Hara. Yeah, there she is. Loving it, man. Oh, that's she's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, yeah that's cool. badass. Yeah, so they threw her up there in the stars and like she's just floating around. They did the body. same thing with a, a lot of the uh, Star Trek cast that has died, though. Uh, James Doohan, they did the same thing also, I believe. Yeah. Do you think, um, do you think that that Shatner's next or that uh, his uh, hairpiece will be next, and then it'll be Shatner? He'll be like, I can't live without it. Yeah, that was a bad Shatner. Sorry. Uh, no, there's no such thing as a bad good. Shatner. Because yeah. even William Shatner does a bad Shatner. <laughs> I'm William uh, Shatner. I can do bad imitations of myself. All right. Last bit of weird news found. Weird alligator- news. Weird news! Right. Found alligator drugs, guns, money, but where's the tiger? It went to Florida with the drugs and guns. <laughs> <laughs> an alligator, drugs, gun, and money were seized during a raid at two homes in Albuquerque last month. But New Mexico wildlife officials said Saturday that they're still searching for a young tiger they believe is illegally kept as a pet. Motherfucker the was eaten by a hawk. 100%. Sorry. No, 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 that's that that is what happened. But before he what? got eaten by he had a oh no. Uh uh they never found him. That's the end of the story. It's so sad. I'm, I just like I'm, to think I'm sorry, but I am shocked that this did not take place in Florida. This yeah. just has Florida or Louisiana written all over. Yeah, for sure. Hundred percent. Oh, I forgot. Last story. Chinese man trapped aloft in hydrogen balloon for two days. So basically, he was picking pine nuts uh, out of a tree, and he was using a hydrogen balloon instead of a ladder to be up there. And they lost control of the hydrogen balloon, and he floated 200 miles away from where he was from the from, oh my God. from the bottom of a hydrogen balloon. Was he tied screaming, off to Help! It? Help! Yeah, he was tied to it. 
Oh that's my a, god! I've never heard of like picking anything by like having a, a balloon. That's genius uh, and retarded at the yeah, same yeah, time. Dude. And yeah. then like, it was that's so some fun. fucking Looney Tune shit. <laughs> <laughs> like I can picture Bugs Bunny fucking doing that shit, like trying to pick some berries out of a tree or something. Dude, like, can bro. you imagine like cleaning windows in DFW by that method? Also, you lose control. That all of a sudden, next thing you know, you land in Austin. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> boss. Yeah. Can you come get me? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in Austin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna need an Uber. <laughs> uh it's insanity. I just imagine him flying like and just screaming help the whole time and like uh, praying to God that a bird doesn't go and puncture that balloon. Like how what many was he picking? Pine nuts. Pine nuts. Oh, hopefully he had a pocket full of them to eat while he was <laughs> up there. Like... A pocket full of pine nuts. <laughs> I don't even know what a pine nut looks like. Let's find out. Like, oh no, like either. Little grains of rice. They're pretty yeah, they are. And beige yeah, looking. Yeah. They use them for pesto. Delicious. Well, I hope it was worth it. Hundred percent. All right, let's move on. Was flying away for two days. No help. All He's right, just trying to make his own personal. Let's move on to the videos. Can you guys see this? Oh, so, hold on. I saw what they look like. Those balloons. They look like a hot air balloon, but with like a cherry picker basket on bottom. Nah, shut up. All right. Yeah, I, I typed in a uh, pine harvesting China. Fine. And they actually have a picture of the balloon. Fine. Okay. That's... Okay, cool. Oh, so he was in like a little thing. He was like, that's even more terrifying because he was wow. in a little basket, dude. Well, I mean, I th- I'd be more comfortable being in a little basket than just being tied off to a balloon. Yeah, that's true. I thought his leg was just tied to it. So, yeah, yeah. That makes <laughs> sense. It's just upside down. Floating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I thought he was like this. Died like... from his. Blood would rush to his head immediately. It made that sense to me in my mind where I was just like, <laughs> he's tied to like the bottom of it. He's tethered on there barely. Like, <laughs> they got, they I feel like an idiot. System for harvesting <laughs> yeah, they do. Oh, man. These freaking hydrogen balloons are freaking huge, too. Look at that. Yeah, Bro, let's get one. We'll do our next podcast on one. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be like, I'll be on the ground. On the no, hand. you yeah. will never get me no. in a hydrogen balloon, bro. You'll like, be getting the, the hydrogen. Hydro- Come on, I guys. Let's do it. No. Let's just get in the hydrogen. The There's a video. All three of us together. We'll do a podcast up there. I will feel more comfortable if we do the podcast. And I've got the Zoom we can do it with. But like this video, there's a in these videos, there's these guys that got stuck up in a very high spot, and I feel exactly like that. Hey everyone, it's just Duck jumping in here real quick to say thank you so much for checking out the podcast today. If you're enjoying it, head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, or iTunes, and give We Are Podcast Network a like. And if you get a chance, head over to our social media. All links can be found in the description. You can find us at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash we are podcast. And just so you know, the next section of the podcast will be clips. You can find replays of the live video stream at twitch.tv backslash we are podcast network and youtube.com backslash we are podcast network. And with that, back to the podcast. First, let's go homeless fucking on a bus. Okay. Oh, yeah. Listen, brother, you don't fuck on the bus, mate. I don't care if you're fucking homeless. Don't fuck on the bus, cunt. I don't care if you've got <laughs> autism. I don't care if you're homeless. You don't fuck on the fucking bus, cunt. You Listen, cunt. brother, you don't fuck on the bus, mate. <laughs> I don't care if you're fucking homeless. Don't fuck on the bus, cunt. Bravo. I love that. Bravo. Bravo. doesn't mean fuck on the bus. Get the fuck off and go fuck in the park or something, you fucking chat. Who pays us to do it? All right. The best part is the guy who's homeless goes, I'm autistic. And his reply to it is fucking hilarious. Speak for yourselves, you fucking chatty cunts. Oh, where is it? Oh, I missed it. He, oh, I must have cut back, it out. Go back. He, he screams. He screams. I don't care if you're fucking autistic. There's not a reason to fuck on the bus. Listen, brother. Oh my you don't god. Don't fuck on the bus, mate. Oh, brother, I don't don't care if you're fucking bus. homeless. Don't fuck on the bus, cunt. I don't care if you got autism. It doesn't mean fuck on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all I can think of was Steve Hurst whenever he's screaming. (laughs) It was cracking me the fuck up, dude. That's hilarious. Fuck in the park or something, you fucking chat. 
Have some fucking you respect check. for yourself, you oh fucking God, he's just going to the park. <laughs> All the guys like trying to think of every excuse in the book that like, oh, I'll show this guy. Like, we're homeless. I'm I'm Honey, fool, fucking, yeah. I'm autistic out of nowhere. Yeah, exactly. Like, what are you, what are you gonna say to somebody who's autistic? <laughs> I got lumbago. Yeah, that would have been the one that I would have been like, okay, I, I get it. You're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead, fuck. Wrong. Yeah, sorry. Man versus entire city. This is fucking crazy. Snatches uh, the phone. Oh, this. Gets hit yeah, by dude. a car. Oh, not just hit. Like, run over. Ran like over. Legs. Ran the yeah. fuck over. His legs are yeah. fucked up in the next yeah. scene. Yeah. Right. Oh, he's he's like, oh, my, my kneecaps are good. Oh, Jesus. Oh. And then, for some reason, people realize it was him. So they drop kick him in the face. Yeah, dude. Run over him with a bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Comes back to fight then, the guy. Fuck- Oh, I fucking love it. I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. Yeah, they, they fucked this, this guy up, dude. Of course. This is it's be... oh, it's it's like, got a recording with phone. <laughs> it's like either Brazil or Argentina, but 90 percent Brazil. Uh, terrified. Shit. I know shit. These guys are terrified. <laughs> Elton, Elton, I don't like them. What oh, is he gonna do? I, I, I love these guys. This You've seen this before? I did. Yeah. I don't want like this. I feel like I'm on top of something. I'm gonna puke. Elton, I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. Elton. Ah, don't you fucking do it on me. Elton, if you throw up on me. Elton, stop it. Stop it. Oh, I can think Jake is when you do that. Throw up, Elton. Elton, don't hold on to that. Don't hold on to that. You're gonna make me pass out because I can't fucking breathe. If it drops, I'm gonna puke. I'm really gonna need you to calm. If it drops, I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. I need you to calm the fuck down. Uh, uh, Elton, listen to me. Why is he, why count count to here? ten with me. One. I really actually hate this. Elton, I genuinely hate two, this. Two. I genuinely hate. Count. Elton, just count. Three. Come on, we can do it. Four. four five. See? Five. Six. Yeah, I'd rather just jump at this point. Can you just give me a bunch of more? Food? Fuck! I don't like this at all. <laughs> just... Javi, this reminds me of the time you got stuck on the roller coaster. Is this giving you flashbacks about? Uh, well, these guys were lucky because I was actually stuck at an almost incline. It, was, it happened right before we got to the fucking loop de loop, and I was not having. You I know the fucking loop de loop. Oh my god! I just hate being in that position. I would rather have, be stuck like this than to be that. Oh god! No, 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 no! You're crying. I can't believe you're crying. I cry. I'm you're not crying. crying. It's, 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 it's raining. It's raining out. Shut up. <laughs> okay. That's all I feel like. I'm That's all I want to do. All right, this shit's insane. Thirteen What's seconds. All the emotions. In oh, dude, point. I would have been with them on that. I think I've been on top, like of the Pittsburgh. Uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it goes up and holds you like that, and then it drops you. I think it's called the plunge or something like that. But I was over by the riverside, and so it's so unrealistic. It looked like 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 I was aerial at that point, like, and I couldn't even freak out because it was like this is just insane and beautiful. So, all right, thirteen second clip, pure insanity. What happens in thirteen seconds? So be careful, y'all. This is how life works. <laughs> Fucking bear. Uh. Now, there's always some bitch screaming in the background. Like, you're not helping anything. <laughs> you ready, <laughs> dude? But watch this. He fucking uppercuts the bear from the ground. Awesome. This is a boss. All right, that's all I want to do. All right, here we go. Jumps over. Uppercuts him from underneath. Boom. Double fist. <laughs> God, take by a bear! <laughs> Fucking bear! Pooh bear's coming in it here. Take the video of that uh, of that uh, housekeeper. I think I don't know where it was, but like the bear was trying to climb over, and she just pushes it over. Oh the yeah, she would go get the dog. dog. Yeah, yeah, I saw that also. She's like, "Get the fuck you, bear!" That's it was awesome. Consuela from Family. <laughs> no, 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 no! You can't have these dogs. You must go, Mister Bear. <laughs> Pothole. Oh, that yeah. God. Oh, fucking yeah. sinkhole to my <laughs> Is it where? I think it's a sinkhole in the Bronx, actually. I have no idea where it was, dude. But let's say it was. 
water sports, this girl pees in a cup and then watch what happens. She drinks it. Dude throws it on her. Get out of here, bitch. Tosses <laughs> it right on her. <laughs> she doesn't even fucking know. Either. Whatever. Like, I don't care. I pee. Uh, I do it. I go. I go. All right. Toilet burst. This is insanity. It looks like a horror movie. Oh, my God. Shining. Oh, I'm scared. Look at that. All right. Elevator experiment gone wrong. I don't know what this guy's doing. You've seen this. You must have been been Reddit earlier, just like me. (laughs) I'm always on Reddit. Pretty old. Sad. This guy, he lives the whole thing. Oh, thank God. Well, no, yeah, blow it he, out, blow it out. Oh, what was he thinking? Oh, he drops the whole thing. Like, why would he do this? And then whenever he walks out, he's just like, is in his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I would be, dude, why the fuck would you even start this? He's like, I, I wonder if vodka lights on fire easy. I will find out. Oh, get the floor, get to the floor. And then he falls. Oh, you can't even get out. Only oh. one way to find out. Right. Do you think he passed so. out there? Yeah, he lost I would oxygen. Piss out on fire. Get out of there, bro. Look at his hands are charred. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, he's fucked. He's fucked. A little bit of double dragon action here. I will miss you. You miss me. I miss you. You miss me. I miss you. You miss me. Perfectly synchronized. Fucked. Watch this guy. He is so screwed. Yeah, the bull wins always. Or does it? Boom! Like a beast riding that son of a bitch. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> bicycle. 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 I want to ride my bicycle. There it goes. <laughs> oh my god. Good slam. Hey, what's oh, they turn on the windshield wipers like, get these bloody <laughs> fucking bucket cunts off me windscreens. <laughs> they hit him with a little bit of that bug juice. Yeah. How do you I, do that? Question. How do you, how do you run into a bike, uh, into a car that you clearly see? I think the car was going really slowly <laughs> towards them, and that's why they kept getting closer and closer. It looked like they were just cutting closer, but you notice you didn't see the curvature of the track anymore. So I think they were just trying to inch up, and these were just their idiot. Let's find out. Uh oh. Oh, why did freeze? Shit. I'm, I'm hearing some tussling. All right, and the music is kicking too. Um, question for you guys: uh, Windshield wiper fluid. Do, fluid. Do you guys call it pisser fluid? Have you ever heard that before? No, that sounds like a Pennsylvania thing. I think it's a my dad thing. I think he called it pisser fluid. I was just because I told my girlfriend. Did the other your day, dad piss in the fucking reservoir for uh, windshield if wiper fluid? If it'll save you seven bucks, I mean, would it hurt the car? Probably not. It doesn't touch Classic anything else. Papa Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Elevator fight. Kuka kicks at something. Oh yeah, Darwin and then Awards. He falls right through it. <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, God. Oh, yep. And that reminds me of the one where the guy's like on the jazzy scooter and he's ramming the elevator and then just falls down oh, the shaft sure. and kills yeah. himself. Yeah. Yeah. Bat kaboom. This one goes quick. Whoa. Slow motion. Let's see it. Boom. That's a big explosion. What the right. fuck was he doing? Being an idiot. Did you guys see this? This happened in Texas. This kid beat the shit out of his teacher. She deserves it. Which she one. fucked him. She was trying to fuck him up, like, and he got in major trouble. Watch this shit. So she she pushes him to the ground, and then she pushes him away. Why hasn't the news talked about this male student who brutally beat up the female teacher the other day? All right, so she grabs him. See that? I think she's trying to grab his phone. Then she pushes him. Yeah. 
And then he starts fucking her up. Nah. You can't do that as a student. I don't care. You don't, you she, don't think... He, I don't agree with that. Those people are there to teach the fucking community. Yeah, but you know? she fucking... Like, she was she was grabbing him first, and then she pushed him. Did you see those that? kids all looked phone. like assholes? She was trying to grab his phone. I don't know. He got in a major trouble though. He got like he first degree assault and stuff yeah. like that. Oh. He did deserve it. Fuck teachers. That's my point of view on them. They no, ruined my life. That, are man. And they are. Man. Yeah, they're I a agree. bunch of fucking assholes. Care. Do you guys even remember being in school? They're fucking yeah, assholes. You? Yeah, I got PTSD over a bitch. Moving on. Good cop. <laughs> this is pretty badass actually he uh like goes back like two or three times to try to save this guy out of this car oh it exploded hey get up wake up get, up. get out of there Help me. that thing is gonna explode any second now Let's try again. I. That's a really weird situation to be in, right there. Also, especially because they have medical training. Um, like they don't know if this guy has a spinal injury or something. You shouldn't be moving a body violently like that, if so. But that car is gonna. Go. It's a dire situation. Yeah. 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 That's so fucked up, though. All yeah. right, this I'm convinced this guy is a demon, and I don't know why. I don't know if this is part of a movie or this dude just walking down the street, but like everything except for his ears looks real as shit. Check this out. I should spit on you. Don't spit on. Don't spit on. Don't spit on. Don't you tell me to fuck off. He was joking. I hate your people. He was. Don't. Don't. I hate you. I hate you with all my heart. Okay. I hate you. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Tell me to fuck off. Fuck you. Why are you telling me to fuck off? We're just sitting here. We're just minding our own business. Yeah. You came up to us. Look at how so, realistic that is. Yeah, but I mean, you can order like really good masks now on one for hundreds of dollars, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking. This is sick. just somebody who wants to just go around and fucking be weird to people without having his face known. Yeah, yeah, this is hilarious at the end. Now. <laughs> Your Jesus will not save you. Okay. He will not save you because he flops like this. Jesus the ears didn't flop around. I'd buy it. Is this over? No, you fucker. Okay. Fuck you, white people. Wait, wait. I hate you with all my heart. Did he say fuck you, white he people? Nice yes, he did. This is trouble for some hard times, you. huh? He will suffer you. You can't tell it's a black guy under a mask. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I, like that I love that end. That guy goes, I feel like that one well. <laughs> <laughs> Crack me up. All right, let's do a little bit of You Ain't List. Guys, you ain't list. We need to pick a song. I'll go first to give you guys some time to think about a song. But I'm going to pick a song that I love that has been stuck in my head like nonstop. All right. Usually I have you guys send these to me before, but we'll just YouTube this shit. That's fine. All right. So this song reminds me of the time Jake and Britton had that nice dinner for us over at the apartment. <laughs> and you guys put on this song and it played. It was the first song that played when you, you DJed it. And I've been listening to this song nonstop to the point where I actually sing it to my girlfriend all the time. Don't know the <laughs> words that make them up, but like I fucking love this song so much. So it's Tears for Fears, Head Over Heels. So let's play it. I grew so up with this shit, but every time I hear it, I think about Donnie Darko. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Mm, is that an Amish guy? Is that a monkey? I've never watched this video! <laughs> Javi looks like he hates it. <laughs> he probably does. I've never seen what the yeah. ass Tear for fear looks like us. Taking it back. 
First of all, I love Tears for Fears. Tears for Fears kills it, man. I don't know what he's saying. I have no idea what the song's about either. I don't care. He's telling tell a girl that he's fucking head over hills for her. Something he looks like a young John Cryer. He does. Yes. I always thought that also. And which is weird because John Cryer was really popular around this time also. Yeah, a little ducky. Ducky actually. from, yeah. yeah. There's a Ghostbuster situation right there. Exactly. Oh, dude, this guy's fucking tonight for sure. Oh, yeah. He just That's had his, his fuck face. drop off a synth, a synth uh, right in front of the librarian. Done. 100%. No, keep playing it. This is great. It's a great fucking song, dude. I love the song. No, no, it's no, fucking thing. awesome, too. All right. Uh, what do you guys got? A song that just is awesome. Go for it. What do you got? Uh, Nil Cicerigo. This, C I C, it should pull it up. Yeah. Right. Wow. Wow. Uh, mouth the dream. end. The, the end. end. I was gonna say mouth dreams. Oh my god. The end. Those are the world. names of his albums. All right, here we go. I'm a huge fan of uh, the Doobie Brothers, and this is a great fucking mashup. If you're a fan of uh, the other band. Oh shit! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that! Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It, like, how does it go so good together? It just fits. This guy's a genius with his mashups. In the end, it doesn't even matter. That's so fun. Yeah, dude. Wait, I got one. All right, here, here, here. What do you got? I'm going to say pause it. I'll do one more by him. Okay. And you can just listen to a snippet of it. Neil Cicerega, Crocodile uh, Chop. Uh, yeah, Crocodile Chop. The old Crocodile Chop. Oh, I've heard this one. Yeah, so good. Like, he tones the voice down, like it slows everything down, but it just goes so perfect. Wake up! You wanted to. You wanted to. I wish I was as talented, like in music. Yeah, same man. here. Just like to match it up, because I hear shit like this in my yeah. head all the time. Me too. I just don't know how to go about it. That's fucking badass. I want for real baby. Right here. Hold on. That's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Na, 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 na. Wake right. up. All right. So this one's the one I love. That's the, this is my favorite mashup song of all time. It's Head Like a Hole uh, by Nine Inch Nails with Carly yes. Rae Jasmine added in. And I fucking love it, dude. It gets stuck in my head. But have you ever heard the original Head Like a Hole song? Really yeah. You. Oh, yeah. I'm also in love with Carly Rae Jasmine. So. Let's listen to this chorus, dude, the way they take it. It's just crazy because if you've ever yeah. heard the original, <laughs> like. 
It's like the greatest mashup ever. All right, it's pretty good. good. All right, Hobbs, what you got? Uh, uh, the night spins. The night with spins. Knocking. I didn't find it. All right, the night spins. The night spins. Yeah. What's it called? And their hit song, "The Meat Sweats." The Meat Sweats. What was the name of the song? I just knocking. Knocking. Yeah. Like knocking on the door. Like K N O C K. Oh, there's Whoa. a video too. Here we go. <laughs> Done with this. Spotify. What Spotify say? Band. What? Yeah, I found this song on my Spotify Discover Weekly list, and I was like, "Damn, this band's so fucking." I love cool. whenever that happens. Stop listening to the song. Yeah. Like half the time, I don't like the recommendations that Spotify will give me, and then it's like you find the one, and it's like, "Holy shit, how did I not yeah. know about this oh, before?" Hundred yeah. percent. <laughs> Black Keys vibes. I'm feeling this, dude. That's a great song, dude. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. That on the old like. Pretty good, Hobbs. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna yeah, shut it down it. there, but fucking nice. Does anyone else have a song they want to play for you? A little bit of you ain't list before we get Hobby back to work. Um, yeah, I also got one more. Yeah, all right, what you got? No, I'll go ahead, Jake. You have one. Oh, I'm trying to find it. If you already know yours off the top of head, what you got, Hobbs? Okay, it's uh, the name of the song is called Cannibal Queen. Cannibal Queen. By the miniatures? Yeah, mini- yeah. Miniature tigers. This is not a test. That's or fun. So as I'm no longer on a quest to get girls undressed. I search through their hearts and no treasure I found. I'm so lucky this one lets dogs hang around it. Good for a you know, this reminds me of that movie May. Lars and the Real Girl. Okay. Okay. Did you watch this video before, Hobby? <laughs> That's kind of fun. You saw his dick on? Oh, wow. It's only 2 minutes 50 seconds long. I want to see what happens yeah. so badly. This is so disturbing. This video's deep, man. It's fucking He's saying he would give his arms and his legs for this girl. 
Nah, beat him up. This is disturbing. Yeah, that's not a fair fight. Yeah. Wow. Why what? is the what what? Why not? Is that porn star Johnny Sin with a mustache? Maybe. Decent song, better video. What you got, Jake? Uh, Mon Atir, M O N A U T R E. I don't even speak French. Mon Atir, A U T R E. A U T R E. No, M O N space. Okay. Space A U A U T R E T R E okay uh junior and then put an E at the end of it Junior All right. uh, I heard this on a fucking playlist like Adam's family style music <laughs> I don't know. It's just catchy to me. <laughs> like that bass walking. I love French people. It seems like it'd be like in a 60s style horror show. Yep. Or like one of those songs that they play at the end of uh, What We Do in the Shadows or something. It's so creepy. Yeah, you get it. It reminds me of this. Let's see if we can find... What is what is the big Portishead song? Fuck, I can't think of what it is. What, Portishead had a big yeah. song? Oh, yeah, I mean for Portishead. Uh, I can't find it. What is it? God damn it, Doug. Uh, anyhow, I like Portishead. Portishead freaks me out when I'm high. You ever listen to Portishead, Hobby? I've never even heard of Portishead. Dude, you need to listen to it when you're stoned. It'll freak you the fuck out. It's amazing music. Why would I want to freak uh, myself out when I'm stoned? That's right. <laughs> yeah. Because it's fun. Do you like the Mars Volta? Oh, he loves the Mars Volta. I no, think. I'm a, do you like the Mars Volta, Doug? Oh, yeah, they're all right. I liked, uh, I liked uh, uh, what was the name of the band before that? The Something at the Drive-In. What was it? At the Drive-In? Disco at the Drive-In? No, Panic at the Drive-In. No, this no. Panic at the disco. At uh, the drive-in. Here, this is one arm uh, scissor. This is their big song. I love that song. Diners, drive-ins, dashes, and dives. <laughs> you guys ever hear this? This song is amazing. I love it. That breakdown, like towards the middle of the end of the song, is so good. Yes, this is the campaign slither in trails in the cargo bay. Turn is a vast mass, hollow back, you chunky oxygen tanks. They hibernate, but have they kissed the ground? Oh, they're rubbing to the asphalt now. Taste this amputation, splinter their wings, shit, I've access now. Like it. Get 
So that's at the drive-in. Huh. That, that was the band uh, that the singer and the guitar player went on to create the Mars Volta afterwards. So that was the precursor to it. But it's there, that song's really good. And then there's another song. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it is fucking killer. Uh, I got war. What you got? Uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Vulture oh, people. King Gizzard. And what's the name of the song? Vulture people. Vulture people. Oh, yeah. music video. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the video is great. Oh, this is awesome already. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard is awesome. They have like 30 albums. And they've only been around for like 10 years. I love it. Yeah, bass. <laughs> they have like 10 members. <laughs> like one of those old Japanese like yeah. Power Rangers kind of thing but like, uh, what's his name no uh, Ultraman oh. yeah oh geez I don't like that Something out of Gentleman Bronco. It's fucking, <laughs> it's fucking insane, man. It's filmed the same way as uh, Psycho Goreman, and I fucking love. I don't know why everyone hated Psycho Goreman. I fucking love Psycho. Bad, it was so much fun. It was all right. I, I was expecting something different. <laughs> They can't beat the power of the vultures rock, bro. It's never gonna happen. Oh, he's taking a good hit. What does this sound like? This is kinda like uh sounds like seventies music or sixties. It kinda sounds like a hokey Every yeah, a little bit. Uh every album has a different sound though. I love that, dude. I love when bands change their sound. Like, go. You should look up "Self Immolate" by King Lizard and the Lizard Wizard. Self. It's just fun what? to say. Self immolate. I m m o l a t e. Instead of emulation, immolation. That's it. No, go to the first one. No, no, no. The first, yeah, the the video. Yep. Set of emulates. Needs to set yourself on fire. You alright, Hobbs? Yeah. yeah. Stove up my elbow. That car is gonna run them over. A human centipede. That's some percussion right there. Bum, 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 bum. What do we got? Oh, oh, not the gasoline!
But they don't fuck around. They bring the metal. Oh, they, they're so fucking awesome. I want to go see them live. Like, their live shows like nuts. Yeah, I think I found a new band that I like. Oh, they're fucking awesome. All right. All right, guys. Okay, hold on. All right, what just you got? Look up one more. Cy Boogie by them. I just wanted to show you how vastly different their sound is on all these different things. Cy PS1. Boogie? Yeah, PS. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> They're fucking nuts, man. They're like Ween 2.0. Love it. Yeah. You get I love it when bands change their, their fucking noise or their sound and like just make shit work. All right, guys. With that said, uh, thank you so much for watching and or listening. Either way, we love you. Love for you guys. Four years. Four yeah. fucking years of fucking We Are Air happening right now. Fucking love you guys. Hopefully, we're killing it to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve years. That would be awesome. And by ten years, we got a Patreon on, so we actually get paid for this shit. You better believe it. It's about to happen. Throwing down that Patreon. We're going to get it two people subscribing to it fuck yeah <laughs> i'd like to thank our two patrons yeah my mom and duck's mom yep yep they would and my mom would be like <laughs> one suggestion stop cursing because she can't stand it <laughs> guys i love you guys thank you so much for uh for being here and doing this appreciate it love you guys uh, uh with that said uh i don't got a kirby a shirt yeah oh, uh, fuck yeah yeah d bad bitches don't be a dick and uh yeah, I've been Duck, and th I've been here with Jake and Javi. And yeah, T Bad, we already said it. So don't be a dick. Yeah, I fucked up. My bad. No, no, no. Don't, don't be, be a dick about it. Don't be a dick. And there it is. Thank you again so much for checking out the podcast today. If you enjoyed it, head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, and iTunes, and give We Are Podcast Network a like. And if you've enjoyed this podcast, you're going to love the other podcasts here on the We Are Podcast Network. We have We Are Bagoo, a video game podcast where we talk Atari to Steam and everything between. That's me and Dr. Ethan Eastwood breaking down all that video game lore and having such a good time. Heroes Jiro's A Dungeons and Distractions side quest. Me and the boys were playing some D&D. &D. You can start that one from Season 1, Episode 1. It's a blast the whole way through. And I hate being sober. Personal stories from epic people. I sit down with some of my favorite people of all time. We talk about their trials, their tribulations, and their journey this far. And finally, our new live video podcast, Camp Slash Horrorcast, where we're going to have a roundtable discussion about our favorite horror movies. That'll be available on Twitch and YouTube, streaming every Monday at 8 p.m. Check the links in the description to find out what movies we'll be watching. Also, check the links in the description for our social media. You can find us at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash we are podcast network. With that said, thank you so much for checking out the podcast today. Please remember to support local comedy in any way that you can. We'll see you next time.